In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the gaming league that is taking the world by storm from software's next game has been detailed. It looks like the rumor that George RR Martin was helping out with the game looks to be true. There's so much to delve into with this, and it looks like the game will also be announced come E3, rumored at the Microsoft press conference, so we'll take a look at that. Want to give my two cents and what I expect. It's a From Software game, so I imagine it'll be tremendous. God of War on the PlayStation 4, that's been one of the best exclusives this generation. You can absolutely make the argument that it has been the best exclusive, and it has reached an incredible milestone. It is incredible when any game sells seven-figure amounts of units, being north of a million copies, but how about this? God of War hit the eight-figure mark in selling 10 million copies. That was just announced by Sony. That's an incredible feat. Also, Supermassive Games, you might know them for putting out the excellent Until Dawn earlier this generation. Maybe excellent to some of you guys is a little bit hyperbolic, but nonetheless, I thought it was a very good game and one of the more surprising games of this generation their next game is man of Medan, and information about it is going to drop very soon the release date's been confirmed and we'll talk about that first up let's talk all about from software's title and it looks like that they're getting help from a song of fire and ice writer george rr R. martin now, this was rumored a little while ago that George R.R. Martin was helping out with a From Software game. That was all the way back in March. And now he posted a blog saying, quote, I've consulted on a video game out of Japan. From Software obviously being a Japanese studio. That goes hand in hand with the rumor back in March. And now Gamatsu also has a report giving us some more information about the game. The original rumor was posted by Spawnwave and now Gamatsu has even more information saying, quote, a person familiar with ongoings at From Software has told Gamatsu that the project said to be known internally as GR. Gamatsu has been asked to only share the acronym and in development for the past three years. The game is said to be an open world title with horse riding and collaboration between Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin. The game is also said to be published by Bandai Namco, so that makes sense considering Bandai Namco has published all of the Souls games. They didn't publish Demon Souls, but you get the idea. They published all of the Dark Souls title, and they noted, which will be officially announced at Microsoft's E3 2019 press conference. While we have not been able to verify this information through additional sources, we have decided to share what we have heard in light of R.R. R. Martin's blog post. That is some incredible news. If this comes to fruition, it looks like From Software is really taking their game to the next level, and I imagine that their next game would be absolutely enormous because From Software games at this point are already massive games. When those games are announced, people get excited. You saw the hype leading into Sekiro, and then it took the gaming world by storm after it released. People talking about an easy mode, I'm not going to get into that debate right now, but people are still talking about Sekiro. From Software titles are just those games that have incredible lasting power, and I even point to games like Sony PlayStation exclusives. As much as I love games like God of War and Marvel Spider-Man, those games don't even have the lasting power that From Software games have. You still see people months and years later continue to play these games, continue to clamor over these games. Sure, they're not for everyone, but From Software has really found something that works. What's interesting about this is it looks like it's completely different, being that the Gamatsu report is pointing to the fact that the game is an open world title with horse riding, and of course, with George R.R. R. Martin's input, it would be a different sort of experience, and you would imagine it would be a more narrative-driven experience. So this is something that has me very excited. Now, Gamatsu doesn't have additional sources, so still take this rumor with a grain of salt, but given what Spawn Wave said, given that this is coming out of Gamatsu, given that George R.R. R. Martin said that he's consulting on a game outside of Japan, it seems like everything is coming together, and we're going to hear something about From Software's next game relatively soon. Again, this post did note Microsoft's E3 2019 press conference, and now I know... This might be a little disappointing to some people, as a lot of you guys have been hoping for Bloodborne 2. That is said to not be in development right now, so I think we should temper our excitement for that. A Demon Souls remaster is something a lot of people have, which still could absolutely happen. Bluepoint Games is said to be working on something, and that could be a Demon Souls remaster. Who knows? Given the magnitude of this game, this could be something that transcends all of our ideas, all of From Software's past projects from Sekiro, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne. This could be a massive, massive game, and it's surprising that it is being published by Bandai Namco, since when did Bandai Namco? Yes, they've had Dark Souls, but again, this seems like a game that's on another level. And for Bandai Namco to be publishing a game like that, that is a huge coup for them. So hopefully we'll hear more relatively soon. And don't worry, I already see this being posted on social media and whatever the case may be. Because it was noted that it would be revealed at the Microsoft press conference, a lot of people are thinking that it would be an exclusive. Well, if it's true that Bandai Namco is publishing the game, it'll probably be on PlayStation 4 as well. They're a third-party publisher, and in fact... Bandai Namco, more often than not, they don't do Xbox One exclusives, they'll do PlayStation 4 exclusives of various Japanese titles, but obviously this would probably be a game that would be on the Xbox One, would be on PlayStation 4, and would be on PC. 
All right, so enough on that. I will leave the link to Gamatsu's article in the description box below. All credit to them. And again, still take it with a grain of salt. I don't want to get everyone too excited, but I do think that George R.R. Martin is working on something with From Software. It's just the details I'm a little bit skeptical on. All right, moving on from that, God of War has been one of the most incredible games of this generation, arguably the best game of this generation. I said that it doesn't have the lasting power of a From Software title, in the sense that people play through God of War once, and that's probably it. Maybe you'll go back and play through it another time, where in the case of these From Software games, people just constantly go back to it. But God of War was an incredible game, in my opinion. This might be a little bit controversial. I do think it's number two in terms of the best PlayStation 4 exclusives. I actually rank Uncharted 4 above it. And from my personal enjoyment, I did enjoy enjoy Marvel Spider-Man more, but that's because I'm just a big fan of the Spider-Man IP if you actually assess it from a gameplay standpoint. God of War is definitely the better game, and number two behind Uncharted 4, I think that is an amazing spot. I think a lot of you guys have just forgotten how good Uncharted 4 is, but nonetheless, God of War has just hit an incredible milestone. Sales for the game have topped 10 million copies. That is an incredible feat to achieve. Now, Uncharted 4 actually did top 10 million as well, but Uncharted 4 came out all the way back in early 2016, so you've got a much longer time window to work on, and in actuality, God God of War is on par with sales level of The Last of Us Remastered, which is pretty incredible given that that game came out back in 2014. And as the years roll on and God of War continues to sell more and more copies as it gets discounted, obviously the number will only increase. Selling north of 10 million copies is pretty incredible. It has already outpaced God of War 3 by an incredible margin, which is pretty insane given that God of War 3 released all the way back in 2010. Now, it seems like gamers are more attached to PlayStation 4 games than they were with the PS3 titles. And the PS3 in 2010 definitely wasn't as advanced in terms of people owning the console as the PlayStation 4 was in 2018. However, the games are selling incredibly well, and Sony has just realized this formula that works really well. They're focusing in, and they're harnessing their first-party studios, and they're creating compelling games, and people have that trust in Sony now, where if they release a first-party game, you will inherently be excited, as long as it has a suitable amount of promotion. If it's one of these big-budget first-party games, even if it's a new IP, people are going to be excited. Look at how well Days Gone sold. And yes, that game didn't do critically as well as God of War, Uncharted 4, or The Last of Us. But that game commercially did very well. And it seems like from a gamer standpoint, they enjoyed that game a lot more than critics themselves. But God of War hitting 10 million copies is insane. And of course, Sony Santa Monica Studio, you know, is hard at work on God of War 2. If you finished up God of War, you know that they set the table for a sequel. And I can't wait for that. That's probably going to be a PlayStation 5 title. Who knows if it'll be a launch game? I kind of doubt that. But man, oh man, would that be an incredible game to get people on board with the PlayStation 5 from the get-go. You do need a game like that for launch, whether it be a Guerrilla Games title... Whether it be a Santa Monica title, whether it be Horizon 2, God of War 2, a new kill zone, you need something major for the PlayStation 5's launch in holiday 2020, and a God of War 2 would definitely be that. But for now, just no God of War on PS4, top 10 million sold. And lastly, I do want to give a mention to Supermassive Games' next title in Man of Medan. Information on that game is going to drop very soon as Supermassive Games' Twitter account put out this. Something is coming, look out for an announcement on Tuesday, hashtag Man of Medan. That's their next game, and look for it to be another story-driven title. And it's actually the first entry of the bigger The Dark Pictures anthology, so expect a couple of games to be released in this anthology. Now, we do know some things about the game. The game will be dropping sometime in the summer. Rumors have pointed towards an August release date, and the game is touted as a new terrifying experience. Supermassive Games delivers a new horrific narrative journey where you will have to confront your deepest fears. Can you save them all? All playable characters can live and all can die. The choices you make will decide their fate. Death could be just around the corner. What will you do to survive? Each choice you make has a consequence which can mean a life or death for your character. Will you keep your head while struggling to survive? What decisions will you make? Best of all, the game is going to be priced at a budget price point at $29.99 given that it is the first part of a larger anthology. Can't really be charging people $59.99. I mean, this is no Final Fantasy VII Remake. So we got to keep our expectations in line. And generally speaking, if this is similar to Until Dawn and visually speaking, it does look like that. This is something that I'm going to personally be very excited for because I really enjoyed Until Dawn. At this point, when Until Dawn does go on sale on the PlayStation Store, you can get it for like $5. So I would recommend giving that a look at that price point. It's a cheesy horror game, but they do it right. And hopefully with Man of Men and they can deliver something of quality once again. 
And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, it looks like From Software is prepping up something huge alongside George R.R. R. Martin, who is consulting the game. Given that Game of Thrones' final season hasn't been received all too strongly, maybe this will uplift you guys a little bit. I know the final books haven't been released, and those are probably gonna remedy the issues of the show, but nonetheless, I've never watched the show, so I'm not even gonna get into that debate right now. God of War PlayStation 4 sales have topped 10 million, and expect news from Supermassive Games' next title in Man of Men to drop very soon. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.